What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to talk about a build that I've actually already done. Uh, it is not this. I'm doing another video working on the slim water-cooled system. I need to get all this cleaned up real quick. Okay, good enough. So, I bet nobody will be able to guess what I just got in the mail today. It's a 360 Elite. So, uh, why did I get another Elite? Well, for one, it's hard to pass on a working Jasper motherboard, especially Elite, that's in actually very clean condition. Usually these are all scratched up. It does have the typical, and I think some of these came from the factory this way, uh, with a broken USB door and a missing memory card door. Um, other than that, this is it. Console only. No hard drive or anything. Uh, we got this one for with shipping and everything, around $20. And from the photos, it didn't look like it had been scratched up in the back, like someone tried to open it. It does look like there are signs of trying to open it there. See the Jasper power plug. And other than that, this is in really good condition. Um, all they said was the disk drive seemed to have a little bit of trouble if it was in the upright position, which is super common if it's Jasper, which it is. Then we know it has a light-on disk drive. Let's see if we lucked out at all. I doubt it. Yeah, missing warranty sticker. But... This is usually a good sign, even if it has been opened, that it's not all chewed up back here. That means whoever took it apart was pretty careful. Hopefully all they were doing was trying to mess with the disk drive. So, yeah, we're going to crack this open. And, well, first we're going to test it all out for a little bit. Then we will crack it open, take a look at the inside. Now, why did I get one of these? There's a specific reason. It didn't just pop up. I'm always usually browsing at some point looking at old 360s and other things, just seeing what they go for, stuff like that. Um, but there was a reason I went to look for another one of these specifically. And that is right here. So, we know that I was redoing this one with that other motherboard. Other motherboard. <laughs> and um, the power plug I had put in for the pump, the positive, I think, popped off of there so we also knew there was other issues with the motherboard a lot of weird modifications and stuff going on and I was just gonna pop it off pop it back apart and solder that thing in and just keep this for myself and then probably eventually sell this one but I gotta be honest I like both of these so much in their own ways they're very different builds um, this one I would definitely say is a fully internal system um, this one you know it's some stuff pops out but it is internal in terms of everything is powered through the Xbox itself there's no extra power cords or anything like that neither one is perfect but I think they're just awesome and I had the idea this is a Jasper system we know that um, why not just get a, another Jasper system and put this build onto that motherboard and then I can do an auction for the chance to choose one or, or the other so I'll just do an auction it'll be both systems um, but what you're bidding on is the chance to choose a system so I'll make that super clear in the listing if I do it that way um, you're definitely not getting both <laughs> systems but you'll get the chance to choose the stealth build or the eyeball 360 um, yeah so it'd be cool to have both of them on a Jasper so we know either one you pick you're good to go HDMI all that stuff um, we know we were building this one originally on just a first-gen system no HDMI or anything um, but now they're both gonna be Jasper so you get the chance to pick a 200 millimeter fan this one has a dual 50 millimeter radiator in the back. Big box reservoir. Um, this one, actually, I think, yeah, this one's going to have the DC-12 
style pump. That's that boxy one I like to use that has the intake on the top, out on the front, and that's laying sideways in here. And then this one has a DDC style pump, um, like Swift Tech or Alpha Cool. A lot of different companies make these. And so this pump originally would have a plastic top that has two barb fittings molded in. Um, but this one has the acrylic top where this is your inlet. And then there's also an inlet and outlet on the side of this block there. So, uh, and then this one also has a triple 40 millimeter radiator. Um, both have temperature displays um, and, you know, lights, all kinds of stuff. Uh, bottom side of this one's a ghost case. Face plates of this one is a ghost case. This one's got the carbon fiber um, original, you know, that you could used to be able to buy from like the Mad Cats and other brands that did face plates and stuff. Um, and actually, I think this face plate ghost case goes with the bottom side of this system for some reason for the 360 original ghost case. Uh, the smoke clear case. Both sides were a smoke clear, but then the faceplate was just see-through. And the I, I guess the idea was underneath that would be the smoke clear, so it would kind of look the same, and it didn't really. But anyway, and then we know this one has the glow-in-the-dark uh, paint and the raindrop paint effect and all that, and that's not the hard drive it comes with. We know it has the purple one that matches. So anyway, let's go dive into that other one, take it apart, and see what's going on there. Make sure everything's good. Then we can swap this system over um, with a few finishing touches. Obviously, we'll have a different hard drive again, or a uh, disk drive. So and then I put those stickers on there kind of temporarily anyway, but I sort of like them. But anyway, and the other one, I think um, I'm just going to want to paint it. And then we'll put our regular acrylic piece over here. And yeah, I don't know. When it's off, it should just all be black. But when it's on, maybe we'll use that sparkle um, color shift paint. And these LEDs here should light that up pretty good. But anyway. Alright, so everything seems to be working pretty well here. Staying pretty cool been playing blur on this screen there um, goes in and out reads the disc fine not making any noises in the upright position it is a little bit harder to open and when the disc spins it does make a slight noise so we'll check that out so yeah let's take a quick peek inside all right so right off the bat not a whole clump of dust in here it's actually really clean and we still have the original screws here for the heat sink, so that's a good sign. I shouldn't be opening this up and seeing some kind of weird stuff going on. Fans aren't hooked up to the DVD driver or anything, so good stuff so far. Okay, so just as I thought, just as clean on the inside as it was on the outside so far. Uh, we got our light on drive. Now, just as I thought... When I put my hand back here, there was already some warmth coming out of this side of the system. Um, so I figured they had the aluminum on both. I could have swore some of the newer ones, they still put the copper on the GPU, which, as many other videos have shown, and I said in the past as well, the copper ones are going to just be better at transferring heat. That's how that works. Um... But, like, this, like I said, the Jasper is the way to go because it's going to use the least amount of power, which means it's going to or create less heat as well. So, anyway, uh, this one looks like it's ready to swap over into the other one really quick. Um, I'm not going to really show any of that. I already built that system. Like, that would be, like, the fourth time. So, yeah. So, guys, let me know if that's a good idea if you want to see an auction where you can choose which of these systems um, also which one is your favorite I know I haven't had this one really up and running and tested it against this one yet but now that we have the same motherboards um, and power ratings on the systems we can actually see which is better here obviously this one's gonna have a 
bunch more air <laughs> uh, CFM. I mean, these alone, I think, are like 100 CFM or more. Um, but this one has the dual 50 radiator, and this has a triple 40. So, who knows? We will see. This one also has, I believe, a higher rated pump than this one, as in it moves more fluid. But, uh, yeah, they're both 12 volts, so be fun to see the difference but yeah let me know which one is your favorite and we will take a look at these closer soon